Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing an introduction to a project pan. This one is called, I want to make sure I get it right, it's going to be hashtag colour pan. See what you did there? This was created by Misty and the goal of this is to use your Colourpop collection. So honestly over here in Ireland I don't know that we um, would have as an extensive a collection of Colourpop as our American counterparts but because it is so readily available in the States um, I'm sure everyone in the Project Panic community has some sort of Colourpop collection in their collection. You know what I mean. But I do have some and I wanted to support Misty. I thought it was such a clever idea. Um, so yeah, I said, yeah, I'm going to join in. So this is monthly rolling style. It starts today, January the 18th, and it's a year long project and it'll finish up on the 17th of January, 2023. That just feels wrong to say. Uh, objective three to six items. Uh, goals up to yourself. Uh, personally, I'm looking to hit pan or finish. I think. See how I go. It's a year long project and I have a feeling all of these ones that I'm about to show you will be in here for the long haul and I'm fine with that. You know a lot of my projects I have um, usage goals on but there's a couple or a few should I say this year that I want to have finished goals on so you know I want to start rolling some stuff out of my collection. Um, so yeah minus to pan. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, I'll obviously have Misty linked down below, but yeah, brilliant idea, Misty. I love them. When I heard, I thought, oh yeah, that's clever. Well done. I'll go for that one. Um, so let's start with the lips. So I have the ColourPop uh, Lippy Pencil in BFF. So this is it here. I'll mark it on a piece of paper once this video is over and I'll monitor usage that way. And this is the colour here. It's just a nice little brownie nude. Now already I'm noticing that the pencil is starting to come away from the wall. And I mean, I do not have this this now. I don't even have it a year. So this seems to be a common theme with um, Colourpop pencils, whether it be lip liners or eye pencils, they seem to dry out very quickly. So I'm glad to get this into my project and start getting use on it. Uh, next up is a lipstick and this is a velvet blur I believe and the shade is Oasis. Beautiful packaging in this I have to say. Really really pretty. Um, and this is what it looks like. So I feel like this is quite a, a universal shade in that I could wear it you know with that browner shade underneath to deepen it up a bit and I think it'll be nice going into spring and summer as well. Um, but that is it there. Beautiful. Uh, feels beautiful going on. Uh, I haven't used it much I like the smell of it as well, quite a vanilla kind of sweet vanilla smell, it's nice, I like it. So we're putting it in and we're going to see how much we can, I'm going to mark it on my paper and I'll be so curious to see how much progress I can make in it this year. Uh, next up we will go for an eyeliner and this is the Cream Gel Eyeliner in the shade Big Splash. Such a pretty, pretty shade. I think this is so beautiful. Um, now I won't lie, this probably won't get much use until... Don't roll it up too far, Ruth. You've seen it happen to everyone else where there's breaks, so let's take it handy. I'm not going to roll it up to show you here. I will roll it up and measure it on a piece of paper um, and try and only roll it up once a month so it doesn't break on me, hopefully. Um, but that is it there. So it's a beautiful kind of, not even a Tiffany blue. I don't know. It's a beautiful, but I have a feeling um, I won't use this much until kind of spring, summer comes along. And then I have a feeling I'll get some good fun use out of it, hopefully. Uh, we'll stick with the eyes and I have a super shock shadow here. It's an ultra metallic formula and it is in the shade Catitude. So there it is there. Come out. This is a lovely kind of a, a sparkly shade. Um, very much something that, you know, is a topper. Um, don't know if you'll be able to even see it in the swatch. You'll just see a lot of pretty glistening. Oh, you can see it though. But yeah, this would be just a pretty on the lid shade or centre of the eye to brighten it up or, you know, things like that. I think it'll be a nice, fun shade. Uh, with the Super Shock shadows, I'm looking to hit pan on them. So I'd love to hit pan on a few of them this year. That'd be great to know that I'm getting good usage out of them. Uh, next up for the eyes, so I've put this, I have a little um, 
metallic palette that primer care made it's a four shade palette and what i have done with this is i feel i've quite a universal palette made up of uh color pop shadows that i've uh depotted from other palettes i kind of depotted all my color pop palettes if i'm being honest and kind of put them into a singles and i feel like no matter what colors or shadows that i get in my pen those eyeshadows that these should be able to work into it fairly harmoniously as transition shades and you know blend or yeah blending shades and lid shades and you know all that kind of thing deepening out shades so those are the four i know these two seem quite similar but one is more cool toned and one is more warm toned so depending on the shadows i pair it with and even as a, as a standing old little quad do you know if i was just going away for a night or something it would be handy to have in the in the makeup bag you know to um just do a quick easy look you know so i just feel like um, if I could hit pan on all of these, I'd be thrilled at myself. So that's the goal. I think it's doable. Tell me in the comments down below, do you think I'm being absolutely cray cray or is this doable? So the last part, how many am I working on? So one, two, three, four, five, six. We're calling this a palette as one item, if you know what I mean, the four eyeshadows. So this is the Colourpop Super Shock Cheek Satin in Birthday Suit. So this is a blush, obviously, and I'll give you a little swatch. It's pretty. Um, I'm not head over heels about it like a lot of people tend to be about Colourpop blushes. I don't know. They're grand like, but... I, it, it, okay, the thing is here, it is such a hassle trying to get Colourpop over here. I'm sure I'd love to try out more if I could just pop into Boots or Superdrug, which are kind of Ultas and Sephora's, and just pick up something. I would imagine I would probably, you know, dip into it more and find stuff that I really love from the brand. But because there's shipping, there's customs, there's the delay. I mean, I'm such a... I bought it, I want it now. <laughs> You know what I mean? I hate having to wait a month or six weeks, which is how long sometimes Colourpop can take to get to us. Um, so yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't know. Because of that, I wouldn't be too pushed about getting more based on what I currently own. That's the shad or the blush there. Um, but yeah, if it was something I could just pop into the shops and buy, then probably yes, I'd be more keen to try out more from brand and see what I can find to suit me. So maybe I just made the wrong choices. I don't know, but. For the moment, I won't be trying anymore. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's my little colour story of Colourpop products that I'm going to try. So the, the blush, sorry, I'm going to try and hit pan on that as well this year. Um, I feel like maybe the, you know, completion goals are a tad <laughs> um, extreme. So like the, the these items. Um, but I'd be thrilled if I could get some substantial usage on them. Um, that would make my day. Do you know what I mean? I'm not being naive and thinking that I'm going to finish them. I'm probably not. And I'm okay with that. But if I could just get some seriously good usage out of them, that would make me very happy. And I think hit and pan on the other items. Hit and pan on a super shock shadow. I know I can do that. The blush, hopefully I can do that. And the shadows, I feel like I've picked a good quad of shadows um, to focus on for the year. To kind of tie in with other stuff and not pull too much from, from other focus kind of palettes and stuff like that. Are you joining in on this project? I just thought it was the cutest idea. Um, yeah, I just loved it. And like, I know I don't have a lot of colour pop in my collection, but it, I wanted to join. You know what I mean? I wanted to take part. Um, I just thought it was really cute and really fun. But yeah, that's it for today's uh, intro, not update, intro. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I will chat you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Slán.